Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm going to go through the MSIX packaging tool that is in public preview from Microsoft. Uh, I have a machine here that is in the, uh, you see it here, the release, uh, I guess the fast beta channel of Windows 10, uh, which you're going to need for this. We'll go check out the requirements in just a second, but I want to show you this here. Uh, so what sparked this was uh, for my job, I need to learn uh, more modern IT technologies like Microsoft Intune. Uh, and one of the things I came across here is if you want to deploy a uh, line of business apps, basically apps for Windows 10 uh, from Intune, uh, which is a popular thing that people are looking for, you're going to need to use MSI's AppX, AppX bundles, MSI X's, or MSX bundles. Now there is some support for PowerShell scripts and that kind of business, but I wanted to look at this MSI X packaging tool because uh, the idea is you're able to take a, an existing like x86 uh, setup.exe uh, style installer and you can repackage it in the MSI X and uh, format using this tool, obviously why it's called the MSI X packaging tool. Uh, and then we can uh, upload it to iTunes and deploy it out to our Windows 10 uh, desktops and even use that alongside of uh, hopefully autopilot uh, in a future video. So that way we can uh, do the new modern IT way of imaging and setting up computers, basically not imaging them at all. Uh, and using some of the technology in the newest Windows 10 releases. So I'm recording this, as you can see down the bottom right here, on uh, 24th of August 2018. So if you're watching this too far in the future, I'm sure they've had a lot of features and fixed this thing, because like I said, it's in public preview, uh, and that usually means uh, beta, basically. So uh, we're going to go to the Microsoft Store here, uh, and we'll find this app. Why is it not typing? All right, so let's get in the store and find this thing. This is where you can get it. But like I said, you have to be part of the Windows Insider uh, preview. So get your Microsoft account set up, apply for Windows Insider. But I'm sure you are at that point if you're looking for this video uh, or down the road when this is not in preview. Uh, I believe you'll just be able to download it from the store, but I could be wrong. But either way, right now I'm going to search this thing up. MSIX, there it is, see in preview. We're going to click it. Well, I already have it, so we see it's ready to launch. Uh, but you can check down here under prerequisites to see what's needed. So you need to be at least Windows 10 build RS5 17701. And if you guys can see down in the bottom right here, like I said at the start of the video, I'm at 17744. So I'm definitely good. You have to have admin privileges on the PC. And you basically have to have a Microsoft account uh, set up, like I said, to get the uh, to access the app from the store. And you have to be in the Windows Insider program. So we're going to close that up. We already have the app. So let's get it launched here. And uh, yeah, it's uh, got three things here to pick from. Uh, the application package uh, where you create your own app uh, or you package your own app. The application plus modify it is grayed out coming soon. So like I said, this is in preview. So they're going to be adding features as they go. Um, and we'll find out what version I'm actually using here because this might matter for you if you're watching this in the future. Uh, but you can also modify existing packages. So let's go to the settings here and just check out. I'm using version 1, uh, 2018, 808. So I'm assuming that's like August 8th. This was released to public preview. I believe if you look at documentation on Microsoft's website, uh, more information about this packaging tool, they already have release notes for a later version, but this is just the version that most of you should be able to get from the store. So I'm just going to use this version and see if we can get it working. All right, so we've got some preferences in here, some stuff that's uh, grayed out and not usable. The important thing in here I want to show you was the feedback option. So if you're an app packager out there, or you're a Microsoft system admin trying to use the Azure, Intune, Cloud, whatnot to deploy apps, and you're trying to use this tool, uh, and there's a feature missing or something you need for an app you're trying to package or something's failing on you, you can send feedback or report a problem, which I would definitely recommend it doing so they can make this thing as robust as possible. Uh, so we're going to cancel out. Uh, so let's try to package our first app here. And I downloaded something huge. Uh, I got the uh, 7-zip uh, installer. <laughs> so it's just a simple EXE. So it's just basic. Uh, it's the x86 version uh, Windows EXE from their website. At the time of recording, uh, we're going to just select that. So it says if you don't have an installer, click next to create one, but uh, you'll choose and run the files you need to install your app and the MSI packaging tool uh, will create the installer for you. Uh, so you can use an existing MSI and you can also use uh, installer arguments, but we're just going to click next here. 
Uh, you can not click this one that's grayed out, the create package on existing virtual machine, because we're just doing this on a, a laptop I'm remoted into here. I just picked a laptop, threw it in the Insider program, so it's on a newer version of Windows and gets updates like you wouldn't believe. Uh, it's not a, a laptop I use often, uh, but I, you could set this up on a virtual machine if you want to try this out also, and it, it lets you do that here. Um, but we are going to create the package on this computer. And now we're going to give this package, uh, we're going to basically populate the manifest, uh, app manifest XML file, I believe is what's happening here. Uh, when you use MSI X packages and I recommend, uh, if you don't know what an MSI X is, uh, there's some good videos Microsoft put out on YouTube earlier this year, um, from some of their conferences that can educate you pretty quickly on what it is. Uh, but I'm trying to type here and cannot. Uh, all right, so the CN here is important. Uh, this has to match your CN that you're using in your, um, if you're using a testing self-signed certificate, which I'm gonna be doing here and I've already created, but I'll put a link in the description below about how to create self-signed certificates. Um, but this has to match, uh, this information here has to match what you're putting in that certificate. So, I mean, if you're doing this with your company, uh, and you guys are already packaging line of business apps, reach out to your app team and find out what the, the certificates are using already to deploy and package apps from visual studio or other packaging tools and try to get the, uh, cert from them. Just make sure you're using the same publisher name, display name, and that kind of thing in here. So it matches and I'm just going to use this some corporation. All right, sorry, the microphone's kind of in front of my keyboard and I, I'm not the best typer, uh, but we're just gonna give it uh, a version of 1.000. And we're gonna click next. We're not gonna give a location. So something interesting here, uh, it's gonna download and install automatically this MSIX packaging tool driver. So it's preparing the computer here. It also knows Windows search is active and Windows update is active. Now, if you guys have packaged apps before um, and you're trying to use like, um, I don't know what, uh, like Flexera, I guess, or, or some of these um, brands that make these packaging tools to package MSIs where you just, you know, use a clean VM, you install an app and it kind of captures all the changes. That's basically what's going to happen here. So we need to uh, turn off uh, these services. So we're going to select them, search and update, because that'll prevent other basically junk from getting in your installer and thrown on future machines. So we're going to disable them and let's see if it if it's successful. It looks like it disabled them. Uh, using this disabled select at the bottom here. Uh, once you continue the next page, installation will begin and you'll not be able to return. So pending reboot, you can't select this. Uh, we recommend rebooting your system. Okay. I rebooted recently, so sure. But anyways, we'll go next. So now it's going to start the installer. Uh, it may take several seconds, but we already see it here. And if you have additional installers or executables, you can run them in the same environment as your installer. Do this before moving to the next step. So basically this thing's listening right now and it's going to try to record everything we're doing, capture registry changes, file changes, and that kind of thing. So we're going to install 7-zip on here, assuming I don't already have it installed. And it looks like it installed. We're going to close. We're going to click next. And interestingly here, you can manage first launch tasks, run your app to capture any post installation tasks. So you can click this thing, which is the exe that was basically just installed. You can see the path here and you can run it, open it and configure it, do whatever you want to it. Uh, so this may be helpful in the future for some of you, uh, but I'm just going to leave it the way it is and click next. And are you sure you're done? Uh, yeah, I will move on. And it's going to prepare the package here. And it, I guess in the future coming soon here, we have fixes that could be applied. So I guess stuff that, you know, Windows 10 compatibility stuff, I'm assuming, uh, could pop up here to help you fix it. If it's doing something wonky, I guess trying to put files in, you know, Windows 95 or XP directories or something weird, uh, you can uh, hopefully fix that here and redirect it to the right places in the registry or the file system, I would assume. I don't know. Um, but just from packaging, that kind of stuff happens and you need to script it. So maybe if they can auto detect, that'd be amazing. Uh, if you decide you don't want them, you can remove them later in the packaging editor, which is cool. So I guess it just adds like extra things in the script to do after your installer. Then down here is your deployment readiness checks, your package ready to deploy. So I guess this is like part of that, what I was just talking about, making sure it works with Windows 10. And we're going to go to create package save location. Uh, we'll save it to a uh, temp folder, I guess, on the C drive. Temp. Sure. Uh, sign the package for testing. So like I said, I'll include the self-signed package creation stuff. If you don't already have a package with your company that you're using to do this, um, but you'll need to create one for testing. And there's a way to do that without, uh, 
basically without Visual Studio on the machine, I believe you can do it, but I, that's how I did it. But um, you can do it also with the sign tool and PowerShell basically. Uh, but I already did all that work, so I'm gonna you know leave it out of the video here, but uh, I will just go get the cert, um, which I also have in my temp folder here, my test cert, which you have to import, uh, I learned into, uh, to get it to work for me in the local machine and trusted people store seem to work. Uh, and then I will put the password in for the cert here and click create. And assuming your cert is set up with the proper subject that matches your app manifest XML that's inside your package here, you should have a successfully created package like we do. Uh, so your publisher names there, save location and close. So now we'll close this guy and we'll go to our temp folder where our app is installed. Uh, boom. Here it is, 7-zip, uh, 1805 MSI X. So we'll try to launch this and you'll see this little MSI X uh, interface that's built into Windows 10. I don't know when they started adding this MSI X support. I think it was like 1803. Uh, a lot of the features were implemented. So I would recommend probably having like 1803 or newer, which if you're watching this, 1809 is about to come out for Windows 10. So you should be good. Uh, so install 7-zip. Uh, so it's going to check things inside the MSX to make sure it's trusted and that kind of thing. That's why they're trying to go with this MSX. It's more secure, um, more secure way of deploying apps compared to EXEs and MSIs and that kind of thing. Um, so we see the version, we see the sum corporation. I believe you can add images to this stuff eventually and make it all pretty, uh, but we just have a basic thing here. Um, so we're going to launch when ready and we're going to click install and it's installing the pack package if you didn't have the cert you're gonna get arrows errors there sorry uh, where it tells you the cert's not on the computer to allow it to install um, or if you didn't uh, sign your package which we could have skipped there in the MSIX tool you could have bypassed that whole adding the cert thing and signed it later you can sign it later with command line uh, using the sign tool uh, that comes with the Windows uh, 10 SDK uh, but if you're gonna do that you need the SDK that matches your uh, your release pre-release one uh, from the insider program which uh, you can find online um, but yeah uh, so we got it signed we got it open here's 7-zip it's running so that's the uh, MSIX tool uh, quick and dirty uh, demo there of how it works and hopefully we'll be able to in a future video uh, take this MSIX put it in Intune and see if we can uh, deploy it out to a Windows 10 device so stay tuned for that and I just want to thank you guys for being here watching uh, I would love a subscribe if you're new here hit that like button if you want to see more videos like this uh, but again thanks a lot see you in the next one